Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 16th of April 2024. So the dollar, oil and gold jump, stocks and bonds dump as World War Three on risk reignites. And that seems to be dominating the news. Stocks slide further amid the expected Israel response, a bonds hit on strong retail sales. US stocks decline in treasuries tumbled after retail sales top forecast amid geopolitical concerns surrounding potential imminent Israeli response. And that's what's dominating uh, the news this morning. Israel, Israel vows to respond to Iran attack as West calls for restraint. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, economic news uh, for today. We've got um, claimant count for the UK. We've also got average earnings, building permits from the US, industrial production. Bailey is speaking at 6pm. Uh, Barkin is speaking at 6pm uh, as well. Um, Fed Chair Powell at 6.15, so bringing out a few uh, bankers today to try and support uh, the market as well. They're probably scheduled already to come out and speak anyway. Right, let's move on and look at the markets for yesterday and kick off with the Dow. So in the Dow, we see prices continuing to move lower and also uh, overnight prices uh, broke the low of yesterday but uh, have since uh, managed to uh, come off this. You can see how they've brought back in at this level and trying to get back above the uh, 20 bar moving average and the close there as well. So you may get a bit of a bounce this morning as long as there's no retaliation by uh, the Israelis. So let's uh, have a look at the German DAX. And in the German DAX, uh, also trading below yesterday's low overnight. Uh, yesterday managed to stay above the low, but uh, overnight more weakness with uncertainty markets trading back to 78 percent retracement of uh, the recent uh, pivots and swing high swing low and in the 30 minute chart there you can see uh, prices up in the morning as soon as the dow opened uh, the market just tanked and overnight taking out the low but uh, now buying in to try and bring it back above yesterday's low bring a bit of stability to the markets in the s p 500 the market also trading down to 62 uh, percent retracement from the last uh, swing high low needs to stay above 78 and 89 30 minute charts uh, all was quiet on the western front until uh, the cash markets open moving prices lower again trading below yesterday's low and currently at the 20 bar ma in the ft100 this also moving lower during yesterday and overnight uh, the low being taken out a lot of uh, buying coming into the market uh, yesterday for this market having made its new all-time high and uh, you can see prices there also moving down in fact taking out yesterday's low quite significantly but trying to uh, get back to the s1 at the moment we just had a bit of a, a spike up in the last 30 minutes there in the us dollar continuing to move up but uh, losing a bit of momentum there which can be seen in uh, yesterday's uh, move this is this one overnight also losing a bit of momentum there for the US dollar which means that the metals will have stabilized so let's have a quick look at those starting off in silver managing to move back up uh, yesterday they had a shakeout yesterday afternoon which we can have a look at in the 30 minute chart uh, you can see it uh, price is uh, moving down to just above the 28 dollar per level and uh, after that the market uh, continuing to move up overnight there's been a bit of a pullback and price is now being pushed to the downside once more again i'm uh, probably going to see more of that today putting pressure on trying to keep this market below 30 dollars per ounce if it breaks 30 then we're off to the races towards 50 but if not then this market will be pressured back down to uh, below 28. gold similar picture obviously doing well with the banging of the war drums at the moment and also in the 30 minute chart you can see that despite trying to uh, shake it out uh, yesterday uh, the market uh, currently holding and moving back to the upside there so sitting at uh, the close at the moment needs to hold this level and if not we'll see some weakness coming back in and further selling quick look at the gold silver ratio for yesterday and in the gold silver ratio uh, we can see there that uh, we moved back down yesterday and just squeeze that up a bit uh, but overnight still trying to get back and hold above uh, 83 which seems to be the area of support at the moment for the gold silver ratio so we need to break 80 uh, down here to have any chance of uh, moving 
prices further to the downside. Right, so have a quick look at yesterday's trades and what the market's doing overnight in a bit more detail before we conclude. So in yesterday's uh, two minute chart, so uh, you can see that we're moving up straight uh, from the off in the futures market and then uh, moved uh, sharply to the upside. As I mentioned in yesterday's market alert, so we could have seen a bit of a sell off, but then I also mentioned that uh, war is good for the markets because uh, you don't know who's going to get the contracts for any sort of rebuilding and uh, other contracts uh, thereafter. So it's always good for the stock market, uh, which doesn't sit comfortably, but it is what it is. And uh, yesterday we had a, a potential buy the market moving up and then just moving the stop to break even, waiting to see prices come back below the 5MA. Uh, we got to the R1 and then prices uh, coming back and I was a bit late getting out and that was distracted with something else. But then the market uh, coming back uh, which is a bit annoying. We then had a potential sell and buy simultaneously and the uh, buy won this one and the market continuing to move to the upside as can be seen there. But as it came back taking the profits off the table before we then uh, got into a bit of a sideways move there. So let's go through the morning session there rather quickly. We then had some news from the US which uh, we see the market uh, react on a positive note to it, moving back up uh, to the high and then uh, waiting for the US to open and everything was going fine to the upside. We had a bit of a pullback there, uh, having got through to the scalp and then we had a potential sell. We had to get through the high on the sell, but then the momentum just uh, flowed to the downside as the US sold off. At one point, if I just wind this back down at the R1, you can see that we had 102 points of profit on the trade. But by the time the market came back above the five bar moving average, we were down to uh, 73 points there. So again, significant area of uh, resistance there, which uh, you can see, at, sorry, support at the R1 and the market uh, obviously stopping at this level as well which uh, can be seen there quick look overnight at the german dax and at the moment so we're still not back um, above uh, yesterday's low at the moment we're still sideways you can see we're stuck in a range at the moment struggling with the 200 ma there which needs to be taken out so fairly quiet there daily chart trying to come off the 50 ema there as well okay that will do it for this one uh, let's see what today brings. Who knows uh, in these uncertain times that we're currently living in, but uh, uh, hopefully there'll be a few uh, decent trades as well. So with that, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.